is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Uh, deny reading. So if you're a Capricorn or have Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, this can possibly resonate for you, okay? This is not your story. Feel free to book a book, um, a private reading, okay? Alrighty, so Capricorn. Mm. Let's see here. Please take the time to subscribe, like, comment if this story resonates with you. Um, so you have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I look, it looks like, you know, you guys are moving into a calmer uh, uh, reality here. Looks like um, you just came out of a situation where you felt like you had to defend yourself and maybe you're you're taking a look like maybe all that energy wasn't called for maybe you felt like you had to defend yourself but you realized that whatever it was wasn't that serious you know or this is the movie you're, this is the energy you're moving into sorry it looks like you guys are going to be moving into an energy for july 2020 of being like non-defensive this card calls for someone who's um this in this card it looks like someone really was trying to bite someone's head off and it, it symbolized to me like maybe we overdid it you know maybe it was a trigger perhaps okay so let's see capricorn sun moon rays and venus jupiter july 2020 spirit what do we have for capricorn what energies are they going to be moving into for the month of July, Spirit? Come down with probable messages for Capricorn energy. And this is general, so you can apply it to um, anything uh, anything that uh, resonates within your story. So job, work, friendship. Mm. Okay, so it looks like someone wasn't reciprocating, right? And you feel like you might have overreacted. Maybe you feel like you're you're giving too much. Or maybe you overreacted and then someone decided, okay, look, I'm going to give you this. This is what I'm going to give you, uh, is what I'm sensing. But it's like uh, this kind of piranha thing, like you give to me, you give this. You know, people, I feel like it's a tally and up of who's going to do what. And you have to kind of you know, jump into an energy of, like, going hard, like, damn, like, are you gonna give me anything, or nah, like, uh, shit, why is it always gotta be a battle when it comes to you reciprocating something equal, uh, and then it seems like, okay, maybe we move into common grounds, but it's a slow movement, you know, energy is tense, um, but it's like I, I see here we we are fighting for someone to reciprocate what we pour into them or someone could be feeling that way about you i also see here like when things calm down they calm down but they they take a long time for the tension to um dissipate and then i also see that by the time you guys calm down um or whatever this is we're at this cycle again are you going to reciprocate the energy that I put in? This can have to do with fi uh, home stability, finances, um, for sure. Yeah, it looks like someone is wanting to shine, right? Someone is wanting to be able to shine. Maybe someone's taking too much from you, so you're not able to shine. Are you sticking up for yourself so you can be able to shine? Uh, and no, someone's not letting you shine because if you, you're taking your energy and you're pouring it in a particular area, you start getting drained, right? And then we're like, oh, this is too draining for me. Let's move into common grounds. Um, and then you try to move into common grounds, right? But it's just like <laughs> you get kind of frustrated and like, wow, I know this cycle's about to come back. I'm, this is It just really creates a fog. It creates a fog of emotions where what how do I get out of this right what is the best option to not continue the cycle and we can't seem to find the best option to get out of the cycle so the cycle seems to be perpetual is what I'm feeling with this energy that's currently here um, you got it looks like you guys are eager to find a better option but when you look it's like uh, the, the option probably would be to not engage at all but I don't 
I don't feel like we see that as an option. We're trying to figure out what's the better option without with still engaging with this person, place, or thing. But I see that we're looking for action. Like we're trying to pick something. Pick a wet, better way. Maybe if I reciprocate like this, this person could possibly follow my lead. Um, so, but it's it's like something's not being seen or shown here. Uh, you may be needing an option that's uh, maybe the best options that you have are all destructive, right? There is this could do with someone that you have emotions for, okay? Uh, for sure, because I've seen the uh, King of uh, Cups here. So, someone you have emotions for, but I feel like with this situation, someone not reciprocating, you're starting not to show your emotions here. You're starting to pull back, and, and you're you're like, I have emotions, but they're kind of guarded, I would say. Um, they're kind of tainted. You're kind of thinking like, ugh. Like, the, to be defensive in this energy, I can understand why the Seven of Cups is here looking foggy. Because now, like, you don't know where to place your emotion. You don't have the confidence in the situation because your guards are always up. Then you have two piranhas here. Like, who's going to share what? Like, mm, -mm. Um, Yeah. I see someone wanting to come in and take out action and look for better options, but honestly, they're just not there. Yeah, it's a judgment card. We're trying to judge how to handle the situation, how to move into a calmer uh, place here with the Six of Swords without coming back here. Let's metamorph uh, into a, a plan that will work. Yeah, so we're trying to make a... A choice here right we're deciding and we feel like things are running out of time and that's why we're trying to take action like what options do I have like I need to make a quick judgment upon getting and staying in a calmer place right so you might be looking over strategic planning out maybe you have to start being sneaky you know even moving into the seven of swords energy you can start having to be sneaky or you know a lot of petty arguments are coming uh, because you can't move into a common ground because someone isn't reciprocating. So now we got to be sneaky, right? And I see, like, you feel like your time is running out when it comes to love and money. You have to choose, like, which one is going to be, <laughs> what? which one am I going to choose here? Like, am I going to choose love and money? Because there's a disruption here, right? We have to make a choice. And it's like we know the choice that we need to make. We know the better choice. But we are, you know, I feel like we we're staying in the fog on purpose. Someone doesn't want to leave a the situation. They want to change uh, the cycle within the situation. But, you know, your best option could just be leaving the situation. Yeah, this, this type of energy is keeping you up all night, anxious, you know what I mean? Uh, just really trying to figure out what is the better option for you. Yes, on guard. Uh, there's a lot of wands um, here. So... You're trying to find out an option that will be successful for you. And I can sense here that you guys try out quick options. You guys could definitely be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius Leo or someone that you have a lot of passion for. You have a lot of passion behind um, trying to figure out this better option. At this point, you feel like a monkey in the jungle. Like, what the fuck do I do? You know, what tree do I hang in? Um, we're really, really trying to decide what is a better way to go in this jungle, right? I, I, every time I see this, I think about the jungle. And I think about, like, when you're in the jungle, you're like, are the lions over there? Are the cheetahs over there? You know, that's what I'm feeling with this defensive energy. Uh, so you have the two defensive cards here. So I know we're, like, trying to find a better way to not be defensive. And this judgment card is here. You're trying to say, like, where is the calmest place for me to be? I, I really don't want my anxiety to go up. I really don't want to argue. I really want to be like, yes, I agree with you. This will work. Or both of you guys agreeing fairly. Like, okay, this this will work. This is a better plan for us. But there, and the Seven of Cups being in the smack dab middle of the reading, there's not a good, there's not a good plan here. You might feel like, there's something about if someone leaves you feel like your world won't be the same or your world might come crashing down so what I will say is try to bring in love within yourself because if someone is making you feel defensive and having to block your um, heart chakra that calls for a, a change of environment a change of person place or thing here 
uh, because I do see that whatever option you choose, you want it to be victorious. You want it to win, but it's like no matter what option you choose, you cannot be victorious within the situation. So now you have to make a, a, mind, a mind over heart situation and quickly, you have to make a quick judgment here in July on what's going to bring you true happiness, okay, um, is what I'm sensing here. What is the storyline about, Spirit? What is the storyline about? What 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 is the storyline about? Give me more information. What is the storyline about? Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So it has to do with expansion, gaining. I would say someone may not be able to save or gain, or someone's not is lose. They're not. They're not. They're losing their sleep. They're losing their emotions. They're losing their mental. They're being triggered here. Yeah, the naked heart. Someone's unable to be vulnerable in the situation. When you have this piranha energy, it's like you guys are sharking each other, you know? Holding back love, sharking each other. Like, you know, whatever connection this is, you have the tower card. And then you also have the ace of pentacles. So, a lot of emotions here. And the Eight of Swords. So you guys are really trying to find a, a way. You have Scorpio's energy. You guys are trying to find. So I definitely see that when it comes to money or an offer. And it's a big offer too. Or saving your money. Or being able to embark on a journey. It's like you really don't know which way to go. Because I sense whatever way you turn. There's some type of sharking energy around you. Uh, so you're in your head again with this eight of swords, seven of cups, seven of wands, nine of wands. Someone's not making a decision. They need to with this judgment card. We need to make a decision because, I mean, we're going to be in a ten of wands. At this point, I understand why the tower card is here because someone's going to have a breaking point. They're going to have a breaking point when it comes to their stableness, their stability, their structure, their security, right? But it's like you're trying to find the answer. The best answer is whatever. You, you, it looks like you're going to have to part from and you know you know you're gonna have to part from this situation this is not a good situation at all and it has to do with a lover possibly a gemini we also have scorpio here we have scorpio um twice here um so i'm just gonna read the major arcana because i feel like with me that's when the energy show up the most but we do have all signs predominantly the lovers and scorpio energy but i feel like whatever you have a lot there's a lot of passion on wanting to change the situation it's like it's like at this point it's agitating you it's like oh man you know how uh what is that uh friday when he was like that one lady came to the door for the rent money and he had all this passion and defensiveness and he was i can't stand that bitch and he slammed this door that's how i'm feeling like you really are sincere about i i i, I can't stand this shit like this is uh, this is too much for me and it looks like you know what to do um you're wise enough to know how to protect yourself you're just choosing not to maybe you feel like if you embark on another journey that you're not going to be able to find something right there's something that you feel like you're going to be missing but whatever it is that you're going to be missing is actually within yourself right so it, 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 sometimes you got to be brave enough to say fuck it like, I can't do this no more. You know, this is just stupid. I'm getting overly exhausted. With, I feel like I'm defensive. It's too piranhas. Like, I shouldn't feel like this with somebody I'm connected with. You know what I mean? Like, I have to make a choice. And I have to stand on that choice with conviction, right? Um, I have to mean what I say. Like, I'm not doing this with you anymore. Look, we are, I have to say, because with this Ace of Pentacles here, it's like you're trying to find all these options, but your best options are not working for you. You tried them already. You tried them already. So it's like, um, okay. Your best options are not working for you. I can guarantee you that. So let's go ahead and go through and just clarify some stuff for funsies, right? What is the Seven of Wands for Capricorn July 2020 reading? What is the Seven of, of Wands? What is the Seven of Wands energy sphere? What is the Seven of Wands? Yeah, someone had blown up. Someone's going to blow up. They're going to lose their shit. And you're going to feel like you overreacted, right? As soon as you overreact, the person's going to feel like you're attacking them. But it's like they're going to do, they're going to reciprocate. But it's like going to be like, like oh, going in circles. Why I got to reciprocate? Why you got to come at me like that? Why is it always this? It's like you guys are going to be circling around the situation. 
it's just going to be so much circling around the issue that it, the, the problem not is not going to get resolved quickly. It's really not. So I feel like someone's going to have to put their gavel down and just be like, fuck it. Like, look, I, I can't, I can't be on this defense. Someone's going to really have to be like, look, this is not going to fucking work. This is not going to fucking work. Yeah, so clarify the Seven of Wands, please. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Capricorn 2020. Okay, so like I said, this is not going to work. You have the Eight of Wands with the, the Seven of Wands. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. So that means that <sighs> you're not willing to put any more work in the situation, right? You're not willing to invest any more time. You're not willing to go back and forth. You're just overly exhausted because these two cards did come out in the reverse, right? So we're, we're like, we got defenses. We're pulling back. We're like, I don't, we don't even feel like it's worth getting defensive over anymore because it, nothing's going to be resolved. You're like, okay, I need to come up with an option, a better option, uh, that's outside of this option. I see that you guys are hopeful. Uh, it, I think you guys know what the option is. And it, it, it is to uh, complete this chapter with this uh, person, place, or uh, possibly uh, thing. Okay. So you guys are now going to be thinking, why is this all this back and forth thing? Trying to come up with a way to again move into a common place because all the options that you guys currently have with this person place or thing it's just like i gotta come up with a better option like this ain't gonna work like i'll just keep getting that repeated energy here <laughs> like it ain't gonna motherfucking work like it just ain't gonna fucking work like <laughs> it's not gonna work it's not gonna fucking work like the, the circumstances are not changing right uh, there is defensiveness, there's a lot of thinking that needs to be done, thinking that's required on how to not come to this place that you guys keep coming to. Um, I sense that someone is hopeful, uh, but to be quite frank, um, it, it, it looks like it's, you know, one of those things where you have to separate and possibly come back together. Um, or this is one of the things like you learned your lesson that you need to learn. This is not some, a person or place or thing that you need to be connected to for a lifetime, but maybe just for the seasons that you were connected with and take those the valuable lessons learned and go ahead and, you know, hard lessons learned over time, right? Um, Saturn's energy, right? Because there is a breakdown that's going to happen. Rather, uh, you decide to uh, allow a breakdown to happen or just the universe because you're being disobedient and you're choosing to think that you don't have options, the universe is going to come in and shake shit up for you, okay? You are definitely running out of time to choose uh, the better option for you and the universe, quite frankly, is going to say, okay, you're wrapped up in your head, you don't know, you're, you're foggy, you know, you don't, you, don't, you don't know what to choose, you don't know whether to choose your heart, your mind, uh, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and burn, burn the tree down, okay, because nothing, we're going to have to reroute you somewhere else, right, unexpected detours on into the right um, path, onto the right path. What is going on with the Six of Swords? What is going on with the Six of Swords? I just realized that's a sea turtle. Okay, so you guys can definitely be connected. Um, wanting to move, swim away um, from this connection, right? Whatever it is, it's like, um, do you want to get seek the answer somewhere else? You feel like whatever this is, like you want to move away from this, like you feel like the answers aren't here in this situation anymore. And again, you know you have options, but the options within the situation are not applicable. Strength card, movement wand. So you guys are gathering the strength and courage because you guys are tired. You realize there's no options within the situation to come in and 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 just and just literally uh you guys could be dealing with a leo as well but i feel like you guys have gathered gathered the strength to go find an option outside of the ones that you have already tried right you guys are gathering the strength to feel like okay i gotta find an option right with the judgment card like you guys know that these options that you have been utilizing 
and maybe the person or place or thing that you're dealing with is trying to come up with options for you and you're like hell no your options don't fucking work you have the judgment card showing up again uh, there's a choice that seriously needs to be made, right? We need to take a different course of action. We need to use a certain level of discernment that uh, I'm weary here. I, I can't fly here. Um, I'm, I'm taking steps forward to move backward with the situation. And like I said, you guys have hope. You guys have hope. You guys <clears throat> eventually, I see in July 2020, that you guys are, you're going to be able to find the answers. Are you going to come close to finding the answer with the star card and the judgment card? You guys are going to be praying really, 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 really hard for answers. I, I think some of you are going to be praying to just take this, this thing or person out of my life. You guys are going to be praying to take this thing or person out of my life. Um, Like, fuck it, take it out. Like, just let it whatever you do with it dispose of it put it back in the universe give it to somebody else hell i don't give a fuck what you do flush it down the toilet put it in a garbage disposal uh whatever you do get it the fuck from around me because at this point i'm overburdened i don't even know if i want to go another round i don't even know if i want to have the 10th wand because at that point that's the tower card is gonna come in it's gonna crack that back right so clarify the two pentacles Clarify the Two of Pentacles, Spirit. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Capricorn, July 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit, for showing up for us today. And sisters, angels, guys. Yes. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? What is this choice that needs to be made before they run out of time? Oh, yeah, we're running out of time. So a choice is going to have to be made or shit's going to get... Shit's gonna go up Shit's Creek, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, you guys are going to have, a, have, have to have a tough conversation. Um, and I see you taking action to have this conversation about a choice that you're gonna make. I think that you guys might be a little bit kind of um, on the sharp side, right? Probably petty side. Uh, because you guys feel like you're running out of time, you might just be like, fuck it, uh, no holds bar type of energy and just say what you have to say without any grace and it's going to come off. And it, it probably is going to spark the tower car energy um, because I do feel like it's going to be some knives thrown because you feel like you're running out of time. So the anxiety seeps, seeps, seeping in, the urgency the feeling of panic, the feeling of needing to have that change right now, the feeling of being defenseless, all this agitated energy is going to cause someone to say fuck it and say uh, some things that probably aren't the best choice, right? Being reactive in a situation because you feel like you're running out of time and you need to make a choice now. A choice is going to have to be made and it's, it's going to nine times out of ten be made. What is the Six of Wands energy? 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 July 2020 for Capricorn. Mother of Cups. Okay. So I feel like someone's going to be reaching out. You might need to, you might reach out to someone in a dark space. This could be someone, uh, a mother type figure um, that you're reaching out to. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, where you're like, I, I want to reach out to you. you. You want someone to conversate with, uh, someone to understand, be empathetic, be receptive towards what you're going through, and someone's going to help you. Uh, seek victory or give you possible advice as far as what you need to do, uh, what you need to say, how you need to go about it, how you can correct the situation um, with what has already uh, has part took in place. Um, nine of Wands. What's going on with the Nine of Wands? I, someone, I feel like someone just left you hanging there 
and you're like, wow, I'm, I'm doing this by myself. Like, I'm feeling like someone just left me hang hanging in the wild jungle by yourself. Like, okay, well, I guess I, uh, survival, survival of the fittest, I guess. What is this Nine of Wands energy? Spirit. Mm. Yeah, someone left you hanging because they're slow to take action, right? Someone left you hanging because um, someone left you hanging, but I sense that if they come in, they come in slow to help, right? Or someone could feel like you left them hanging with their back against the wall. The, the Knight of Pentacles is a knight that comes in, takes action, right? It's, it has to do with fire, but it's also the slow moving um, knight. So it means that someone uh, got left hanging on a battlefield when they felt weary and exhausted. And whatever help that was required, whatever action that was required, uh, this other person, this other energy didn't act fast. You know, they just kind of took their time. They didn't think it was as important as you. And you're like, well, I'm just hanging here at a fucking tree. Lions are down there, you know, piranhas, you know. It's just really interesting energy. Yeah, there wasn't no collaboration. Someone took slow, uh, took um, their time when it came to collaborating. So... Let's go ahead and get some love messages. What's going on with Capricorn and love? What's going on with Capricorn and love? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love. Okay. So from what I'm getting here, I don't I don't feel like a lot of you are safe at all to love i feel like that's why there's fogginess um and we're trying to pick you i feel like when you, you let your guard down and then it just there's a piranha fight there's shark nation uh but i feel like you keep telling yourself like it's safe to love here and i think you need to take that energy and place it elsewhere like where is it safe to love and i see you searching for that with this mother of cups where is it safe to love where can i put some emotions um and honestly it, it i'm getting that where it's safe to love is loving yourself first uh because this defensive piranha it's a lot of work whatever this is a lot of prayer some hard choices need to be made uh there's a lot of petty there's just uh it's just i could tell this is not something that someone wants to continue to do what else is this what's going on with Capricorn July 2020 hello Capricorn will love watch with worth waiting for divine timing is at work in this um, love life and I feel like that's what's hard for you guys some of you guys um, feel like you can't move on Due to a false belief, like I feel like with all this energy, like I kept saying, someone's not trying to move on. Their best options are destructive because I felt somebody has some type of false belief about um, themselves. Um, because if you are, uh, you know, engaging in a perpetual cycle with all this defensive energy, and you're trying to pray your way out and move into calmer waters all the time, uh, yeah. deception someone is wearing a false self mask in their relationship yeah someone doesn't know themselves someone is saying that they're happy but they're not ouch someone is saying that they're happy but they're not again like that's what i was saying deception false self mask old agreements someone's like trying to psych themselves out this also could represent with the false self mask here like i said someone's you know has a fogginess it says let friends help you i do sense that with the mother of um the mother of cups the queen of cups there 
what advice can we give Capricorn with the situation? Because they definitely need some advice. I don't see this. I feel like you guys need to make a decision. But I'm not sure if you guys, you know, what decision you guys are going to be made. Because I didn't see a lot of new beginning cards here. And um, it's, it's going to be a choice that needs to be made. Capricorn, Capricorn, toot your horn. July 2020, what's going on with Capricorn? What advice do we have? All the signs are here on the board, but the prominent ones are Leo, uh, Scorpio, Gemini, and in Virgo. Well, we also have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your hard work is paying off, and I feel like you guys want your hard work to pay off. Um, the eventually, whatever lessons are going to be learned is just going to pay off. But I, I honestly don't feel like you guys feel like you're in this new moon in Capricorn. So I feel like you guys feel like that's eventually going to come. I feel like you guys are saying, like... <sighs> At, at the end of the day, going through all this, I'm going. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna. I'm gonna get something out of this. A lesson learned. Something's gonna come of the situation. Like I feel like it's an optimistic attitude to have when you're going through something that's so crazy, because um, yeah, it's like convincing yourself like. Okay, this is gonna pay off. Whatever it is, like whatever, however it pay off, it's gonna pay off. It says, don't let your past hold you back. Yeah. So eventually, you guys are gonna have to make a choice to move up out of this cycle. The energy is gaining momentum. Um. So I do, and it says a new romantic cycle begins. So I do see you guys merging into something new, right? The energy is gaining momentum. I feel like whatever has been holding you back, you guys feel like all your hard work, all your troubles, and you know. Uh, hanging there by yourself is going to pay off in the long run uh, and I feel like it's going to pay off with you guys getting your energy back and being able to kind of like saw and go into a, a point where um, you guys feel like oh my gosh I finally was able to make this hard choice uh, I finally was able to uh, move forward now I'm finally able to get on the right track um, and that's when you guys are going to feel like your hard work has paid off because you guys feel like y'all put in a lot of work to try to make something work and then once it ends it's like hey look at the end of the day I put in what I need to put in for this relationship this cycle um, and now I get to move forward okay so um, I definitely recommend you guys uh, choose choosing to love yourself first and move out of anything that isn't um, pouring into you so peace Capricorn